Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Lauer, and I get to show you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2026, User Interface, Performance, and Import. SOLIDWORKS is continuously making performance enhancements that you don't have to do anything but upgrade to enjoy, such as up to 30% faster graphics rebuild on complex features. Another kind of performance enhancement comes by way of user interface customizations and tools that can help you to make selections faster, find the commands you need more easily, and if you do any importing, continue other work simultaneously while SOLIDWORKS imports in the background. Since we can do other things at the same time, let's get that import started now. From 2026 on, using the Import Model tab on the Task pane, simply click the plus and select the files to import. We can see them queued up here. Now I can continue to work on this Vermeer transport station and SOLIDWORKS will give me a notification when the import is done. Watch what happens as I turn on the simplified interface. This may be a nice thing to do for your new users or anyone who just needs to see the basics in their view. And check out the help for the full list of changes you get with that click. You can also customize the manager tabs by right-clicking Customize to turn off tabs you rarely use, such as Dim Expert tab, if you don't use MBD, or the Display Manager tab, same as you can the Task Pane tabs in case you missed that a couple of releases back. Another customization that always gets a yay is the ability to change the tree display. Until now, it could have been a little tug-of-war in a multi-user environment, though, because the changes were saved per file. Now, in 2026, a system option allows each user to specify the information that is most beneficial to them. Those are settings you probably set and forget. Now let's talk about tools that could change your workflow, such as the new selection filters, which could make us faster too. If we want to copy this red color and apply it at the top subassembly level here, we can put on the component filter. This is an alternative to breadcrumbs or navigating through the tree for those who want to pick top level subassemblies or top level components by a filter. Let's open this remote control for the Vermeer directional drill, which is a multi body part. There is also a new filter at the part level for features. Use this for anything where you want to change from the normal face selection to a feature selection from the graphics area. And if you like filters and keyboard shortcuts, more filters are now available for assigning a keyboard shortcut. We love using command search. But what if you can never remember the name that SOLIDWORKS calls the thing that you want? Or you just came from another CAD package that calls it by a different name? Now you can tell SOLIDWORKS what you want to call it. Last year, we got the ability to see graphic triangle count in performance evaluation. And those nearly 1 million triangles are top suspects in what's making this part slower than necessary. Let's use the select by size and volume select that were in assemblies and are now also in multi-body parts to find the small and internal components that could be simplified. I'll simply suppress these. Our import finished in the background. So we're ready to continue on another part of our project.